Hey guys, it's Pepper3344 here for my second review. Uh, today the review is my Bionicle Mach Toa Tenma. This is the revamped version of Toa Tenma. Uh, check out one of my videos on my channel that shows what Toa Tenma looked like before what he looks like now. Uh, so really, a little bit changed on him, if you see the video. I changed his leg color to green after I found two green leg pieces. I think I gave him a few more weapons. Forget I need to see the video again, I just know his legs were blue. Um, I didn't change armor right here yet. It is still dark blue. I don't think I will, but anyways, so let's start the review with his mask. Uh, if you get the Matorn version of Tanma, this is basically the mask you'll get. I have a lime green. Looks like Toa Fentoka Lua's mask, and I mean the, not Toa Fantoka, the Fantoka version of Toa Nuva Lua. I don't want to get comments that are correcting me, so. Uh, the head is a, it's the same Toa Metru head that's been used green eye color green chest plate from Toa Ignika Kangu then a claw from Naparu from the same line legs have already shown the Nika leg features gray arms of this uh, short piece that we had on the Toa Metru we have the sword from Toa Lua from the Fantoka series that back right there. Um, flip them over to the back. I've already taken off uh, the sword that is that comes with the Toa Mari Jowler, or it comes on the uh, skyboard for Toa and Nika, which is basically where I got the sword. Let's rip back on to there. On a little slot in his back, can fit any weapon right there. Um, this is the laser crossbow from the Toa Nika, Ignika Kangu. The light up sword, the laser crossbow. Right here. We have Gresh's twin blades. You can use them like that, like that, or as a shield. Or you know, as a sword too. So it has that piece right there. Um, these are the silver version that come with the stars Gresh. I've already used that Gresh for extra parts to build a better Gresh. So, now that you've seen all of the weapons that I've put on this guy, now you'll get to see how they all join to them. You see how they all fit right in there. 
there's a nub right there that he can fit the laser crossbow or his primary sword part on his back that holds this sword or can hold his primary sword and then a space on the bottom of his arm right here that holds his blades right here and they can also hold this sword and this one at the same time so a pretty basic way for shield is just have it like that and have him with his sword and it's pretty hard to do from the angle that I am but pose him can pose him like that or can flip the hand around take this bigger sword stick it into there and you have a better looking more badass shield which I did put in the uh, pictures of the first version of Toa Tanma. So we got this shield. Can take sword off now. Won't need it for a minute. Now we can put on the laser crossbow. And have him like that, firing it and shielding himself at the same time. Or you could have him holding his sword, doing a long range weapon and a melee weapon combo type thing. If he gets close enough after using this, you can switch to that. Double sword. And at this point, I'll just take off all the weapons. Basically, there are infinite possibilities for him holding his weapons. Like, he can hold both of the swords. One in one hand, one in the other hand. Or, he can form them into this cool staff-like thing. And then be having his shield on. So... That is the review for my Toa Tanma. Um, if you don't know how to build him, you can request in the comments section for me to do a video tutorial on how to build Toa Tanma. And if you can't tell how to build him from this video you aren't aren't really smart and weren't paying attention so this has been pepper 3344 signing off see you in the next review i don't know what i'm going to review next but i know it's going to be a bionicle <laughs>